Hey, my name is Dale Childress, and this is my story, July 7th, 2021. I want to go back in time again to um, October of 2007, my first trip to Cancer Treatment Center of America. I was there for 10 days, and I met a lady named Jennifer and her mother, Dolores. Jennifer had advanced stage pancreatic cancer. Uh, she was quite emaciated, very jaundiced, uh, and you could tell by just how frail she was that she was really grasping uh, for life. I didn't get really the chance to meet Jennifer, but yet I would see her walking up down the halls, pushing her IV and her mother walking beside her. Day 10, I was discharged and I went to the lobby to wait for my uh, shuttle to take me back to Midway Airport, Chicago. And Jennifer was sitting there. And I don't know why, I don't know how, but we just struck up a conversation. She had seen me, I'd seen her. Uh, but for various reasons or whatever we were going through, the opportunity to just talk just didn't present itself until then. And for one hour, one hour, it's like I learned all about her life. Uh, she was 47 years old, divorced, had uh, had uh, one child, and struggled in life. I mean, you know, Jennifer didn't by no means, she was not a, a middle class person. She really, really struggled to make ends meet. So we had, we had just a wonderful conversation, and at the end of the conversation, I was getting ready to leave, we made a pact together that uh, five years from that day, we were going to celebrate our survivor, survivorship of cancer. Uh, we didn't really know how we were going to survive it. We just exchanged phone numbers and knew that we were going to. Well, over the next uh, few weeks, I spoke to Jennifer quite often. I'd call her maybe every other day. She'd call me, check on me, even though I was nowhere near the condition she was in. In one morning, 8 o'clock, I remember it like it was yesterday, I was sitting at my desk and I get a phone call from her sister, Jill. And Jill said, Dale, Jennifer would like to talk to you. And I said, okay. And Jennifer said, Dale, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be able to make that date with you in five years. Uh, and I knew then that the end was close for Jennifer. and um, But she left me with something. She said, to have hope in your future, you have to have power in your presence. Uh, and then she said, Dale, you got to live. We probably talked for one more minute. And uh, two hours later, Jill called me back and let me know that Jennifer had passed. And she said, Dale, I, I don't know what kind of conversation y'all had over the 10 days you were at Cancer Treatment Center of America, but she said, you were the last person Jennifer wanted to talk to before, before she passed. And uh, I said, Jill, thank you so much for sharing that with me. And I said, the truth is we met each other on the last day that I was there and we spent one hour together. Um, so to say that Jennifer had a powerful influence on my life would be a gross understatement. Uh, to this day, I share the story of how positive, upbeat, and just full of life that Jennifer was. She taught me more in that one hour about living life to the fullest than I probably have ever, ever known. Um, but her quote that she gave me, to have hope in your future, you got to have power in your present. I couldn't tell you the amount of people that I've shared that with to this day. Uh, and, and I hope I will continue sharing that. And, and I enjoy sharing Jennifer's story as often as I can uh, because she was the epitome of living life, you know, uh, because here's somebody that, that again, uh, gosh, the fragility of her, her frame, her, her temple, if you will, her body, uh, was just amazingly frail. Yet there was just so much in her heart. Her heart was full and she shared that heart with me. And I feel like she imparted on me to share that, that story and that uh, love and peace and kindness and hope with you. So today's today's a short story, uh, but it, it's one that I, I really feel I feel um, honored to be able to tell and share. So look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. That's my story, July seventh, twenty twenty one.